Hi, I'm starting off this video with a bit of my morning practice as per usual because what we nourish ourselves with goes beyond just our food and no matter how much my external reality has shifted for the past four and a half years, the one thing that has remained stable is my practice and my connection to my breath and as I've cultivated a stable internal space it has begun to reflect externally and has just been such a big part of my healing so I love sharing little bits of my practice and I've recently been getting into tea in the morning I'm house sitting for a friend right now and I was welcomed into this home with a tea ceremony which I haven't really done and I was sitting in the hot sun <laughs> drinking cup after cup of really hot tea in complete silence and it felt like it could have been one hour or five hours that went by and just cup after cup of tea. I was served with sweat beating down my chest and it was the most wonderful experience so i've been sitting in silence with tea ever since today i'm making some just egg which is mung bean based i seasoned it with some garlic powder which mine always clumps up into little lumps i don't know if that happens to anyone else but i added salt pepper a little bit of cayenne and i just mix them up like scrambled eggs i love just egg the flavor is so good and my body agrees with it it's also soy free which I really like for you know kind of meaty vegan alternatives but I added this to a wrap with tomato shredded carrot lettuce and tempeh and a vegan aioli sauce which I'll have in the description down below this is so delicious on the go I've been eating it pretty frequently and it's kind of a favorite of mine and I ate this with a bowl of local coconut granola with some almond milk and it just really hit the spot so yeah, this is my breakfast. I wanted to share really quick, easy, simple vegan meals that you can make. These are things that I like to make when I'm filming all day. And if I were going to a nine to five or leaving the house, these are things that I could easily pack away and eat with me outside on the job and things like that. But I just have a full day of filming and I don't wanna do hours of cleanup, hours of prepping food. So I just wanted to give you another example of um, easy recipes that you can make. Mm, that's so good. Sometimes I have some friends who are also very into food as a ritual, which has really helped me with my binge eating and all of my disordered eating, but we will not even talk to each other. We will sit in silence and breathe deeply and close our eyes as we feel the textures and flavors of the food. And it's so lovely. I highly recommend finding a friend who you can do that with. I'm reading Anna Karenina again. I just, it's like a comfort book for me and I've never actually read it all the way through. I've read it three different times and something always happens to the book as I'm getting closer to the end. Like I'll leave it at my friend's house or I'll move and it'll disappear or I don't know, it'll just somehow not be in my life anymore. So I'm finally going to read it all the way through to the end. But lately, I've just been reading while eating and it's been really pleasant, especially in the morning. After breakfast, I like to do my skincare routine, which usually just involves cleansing, toning, and moisturizing my skin, and then adding my SPF on top. And here's my little food baby. I can't believe I used to suck my tummy in. I feel like I've been breathing so deeply into my tummy, and it's perfectly normal to have a little food baby after you eat and fully nourish yourself but i'm just getting ready for the day this dress is by the brand mana wear i'll have them linked in the description box but you know how i just love to dress up even if i'm spending the whole day alone and not seeing anyone it just makes me more productive in a weird way and i just got to some emails this morning and i filmed a time lapse of me and doing my computer work and I really do be talking to myself and talking out loud whenever I answer emails. This simple smoothie is one of my favorite pick-me-ups as I try to avoid caffeine and processed sugars. So this starts with a base of frozen bananas and almond milk, some chocolate protein powder, 
flax seed and spirulina any superfoods that i have usually go into here if i have vegan collagen or chia seeds i just throw everything together this satisfies my sugar craving and also keeps me full for a long period of time and i really appreciate being able to get some vegan protein in as well okay i just finished filming i transferred my memory card to my vlog camera but i've been using my canon 5d mark 4 to film this whole video super high quality crispiness i love that camera and then i filmed on my canon 80d for this q a that i just spent the past few hours filming on because it has this little flip out viewfinder which i love and i just have this with a sigma art lens and on my 5d i also have a sigma lens on there because i just really love them but yeah, this is sometimes what I use to film talking videos. And then my 5D is more of the high quality, good, good juiciness <laughs> that I love. This was definitely an investment. And this is my setup. I was filming for about two hours, had a phone meeting, got a cute outfit on. This is by the brand Paloma Wool. I kind of double rolled that, but... Yeah, it's super cute. I love matching sets, but I'm going to clean up a little bit and then make a salad. I decided to fry up some polenta, which I've never actually had before, but I wanted to make a hummus bowl. And so I also chopped up some broccoli and red peppers and just pretty much any veggies that I had, along with some Mary's multi-grain crackers. And I just ate all of that with hummus. It was really good. I just kind of like to utilize whatever veggies I have and eat them in fun ways. Ways. So I just love a good veggie charcuterie hummus situation uh, and then I also made a kale salad with lemon, olive oil, avocado, garlic, onion powder, salt, pepper, and I added some nutritional yeast and just massaged all of that together. This salad is so Good. it's one of my favorite ways to eat kale as of lately if you massage everything really good the kale just becomes really soft and just kind of absorbs the flavors of everything that you put on it and the avocado is like this creamy binding dressing so 10 out of 10 would recommend i just finished filming all that i needed to for the day except for this video that i'm working on but i'm gonna go for a bike ride and I'm so excited. I'm just gonna go to this um, Buddhist stupa spot that I like to meditate at and do some journaling, do some breathing. Oh, it feels really good to connect to the earth every single day, especially after being connected to my cameras and my devices. For dinner, I chopped up some tofu, shiitake mushrooms, and also some basil, and threw all of that into a pot of miso soup with some rice noodles. These are like ramen rice noodles, and this is such an easy meal to make. Miso soup is so quick and simple, and then you can just throw in whatever noodles and veggies that you have. I'm so happy right now. I'm slightly delirious. It's only nine o'clock, but I'm just ready to fall into the deepest slumber. I hope this video gave you some meal inspo and that maybe you recreate some of these yummy dishes. If you do, tag me on Instagram at yanomi underscore hitomi. Also, let me know if you think my username is really corny. I think that was just something that people would say to me in high school, and so I made that my username. But I have a lot of other nicknames like well, he told me, hit on me, hit hit, tell me, a lot of random things. I kind of like tell me. That's a random, you don't even have to answer that. But thank you so much for being here and joining me. I feel very nourished and very full. And I also had a tortilla with this dinner. I don't know if it's because I grew up eating tortillas and I'm half Venezuelan, but I could eat tortillas with every meal it's just like such a good compliment just warm and toasty and just rolled up and you just bite into it and it's just like instead of bread i would eat a tortilla i cherish you and i hope to see you in a video soon bye